actor, athlete, brand ambassador, artist, PC gamer, social activist, furniture designer, flutist. Terry Crews has an astounding drive for creativity. Is he the modern day Da, da Vinci? Vinci? So right off the bat, we got to say this push product is all about independent artists and creatives. So this might seem a little weird that we're talking about a big Hollywood celebrity like Terry Crews. He's not an underground fashion icon or an up and coming musician. But during our brainstorming process, we saw a side of Terry that simply doesn't get enough exposure. So we put this video together to reach all you creatives out there. We want to show that you can get inspiration from anything and anybody. He epitomizes what Push Product values the most. He gives his own definition to the art he creates. From observation, I would say with complete honesty, Terry Crews isn't miraculously talented. He's interested. His willingness to learn and value new experiences has led him to develop powerful new skills. And we can all see how strong he is. Terry Crews has been a familiar face in movies for almost 20 years. You've seen him in action movies, comedies, TV shows, web series, and media appearances. He's a big, burly guy, but surprisingly open and vulnerable and hilariously goofy. That goofiness has opened up a lot of doors for a guy who could easily be typecast into a villain or a goon or a commando. His style of comedy blew up around the early 2000s with movies like Idiocracy and White Chicks. But he hit the comedic stratosphere when Old Spice picked him to be their mascot. His commercials were intense, bizarre, and absolutely memorable, just like his career leading up to these breakout moments. Terry Crews crept into the Hollywood spotlight by making small cameos in movies like Soul Plane, Training Day, and Friday After Next and playing the role of Team Money on a Gladiator-style TV series called Battle Dome. Before he found his way in front of the camera, he was moonlighting as a bodyguard for Ice Cube. Before that, he was sweeping floors at a factory for $8 an hour. Before that, he was painting portraits of his NFL friends to make ends meet. Yep, Terry's a painter. A damn good painter. After watching Star Wars, Young Terry Crews was inspired to draw and paint. He envisioned his future as a special effects creator. As his skills improved, he became a courtroom illustrator and eventually earned an art scholarship. It's pretty unusual to see a kid from Flint, Michigan embrace art and athletics. Terry's just different. He comes from a hard place that taught him how to be tough and competitive, but he never stopped being expressive. Those art skills would help him pay bills whenever he was cut from a team, which happened often. Obviously, Terry Crews is no stranger to a challenge. I mean, look at the guy. He's a warrior. A six foot three, 245 pound former NFL linebacker. A fitness freak that works out every day for at least two hours. However, the foundation for his strength came from the desire to protect himself and the harmful factors of his environment. He grew up with a strict religious mother that didn't allow him to watch movies, play games, or even listen to music. He was physically abused by his alcoholic father. His friends discouraged him from pursuing his true interests, like horseback riding. His town of Flint, Michigan had a failing economy and a growing drug problem. Because he was exposed to so much so early in life, Terry had only one option if he wanted to succeed. He had to push back harder in order to get ahead. He grew big and strong so no one could physically overpower him. He taught himself art so he could create beauty where there wasn't much to look at. He learned how to dive headfirst into every situation he was placed in. Do you ever find yourself constantly facing a new dilemma? You think to yourself, why do I have such bad luck? And when am I going to catch a break? 
Every time his life took an unexpected direction, Terry Crews used it as an opportunity to build his skill set. He's not Superman, and he isn't above being scared or depressed. Terry has shortcomings just like the rest of us. He just allows himself to work through the experience. Because he embraces the unexpected, he becomes unexpected. Because he's been treated unfairly, he knows how to give himself the advantage. We mentioned Terry Crews is a PC gamer, right? Well, he became a PC gamer because he strives to be a great dad. His son, like most kids these days, was big into gaming. One day, Terry felt a disconnect with him because he didn't understand video games or the culture. Not wanting to recreate the same distance he experienced with his own father, Terry dove in head first into learning about his son's hobbies. He allowed his son to guide him through unfamiliar territory, and soon enough, he was building complex and powerful gaming PCs. The father and son not only played together, but competed in tournaments and live streams. Though Terry isn't playing anywhere near an elite level, he's certainly not afraid to look amateur. It's the process that he loves. He's a pro at being himself. Because he's got so many different skills and interests, his crossover appeal is huge. He's an action star, a TV dad, a game show host, author, comical goof, and a powerful motivator. Whenever you see him, he's ultra positive, but not in a phony way. He's authentic and likable because he's real. We've talked about how Neek used his depression to make Antisocial Social Club an experimental clothing brand, or how Virgil Abloh used his own interest to validate his conceptual thinking. Terry Crews has taken the ups and downs of his life as ways to find new outlets to express himself. Who is Terry to you? Is he like The Rock? An enthusiastic muscle man that motivates others? Or is he like Kanye? A dreamer and a poet who's trying to take his art to the next level. Did we mention that Terry Crews has a furniture collection? Yes, Terry Crews makes furniture. Beautiful, contemporary furniture. Is there anything this guy can't do? He debuted his collection at the trend-setting New York International Contemporary Furniture Fair. As usual, Terry unexpectedly dove into the design world by supporting his longtime friend, Eni Archibald. Cruz financed Eni's work that led to a showcase at the Milan Furniture Fair in 2016 named The Secret Garden. Terry's artistic passion was a secret no more, and he was soon contacted by Bernhardt Design. Innovative as ever, Terry's designs use sleek yet unorthodox shapes to create interesting solutions. You can make the argument that these pieces are reflections of Terry Crews himself. Striking, playful, unique, and just different. And that's the key lesson that Terry's life taught him. Different outcomes happen when you think a little more creatively. The Terry Crews formula for success goes something like this. When something unexpected comes your way, don't run from it. Instead, use it as an opportunity to invest your interest. Once you're invested, express yourself and share what you've learned. If you put yourself out there enough, you'll be versatile and out of the box. Like Terry, you'll soon create lasting connections with people. Terry Crews turns interest into talent. When you make the choice to explore a new path, there's no telling how far the road will take you. That's what it means to push product. So what do you think about Terry? Why don't you leave a comment and tell us what he should do next? Subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up so that more people can see this video and the other ones that we create. We are a small operation trying to bring quality content straight to you. Also, consider donating to our Patreon the link is down in the description below. We need your full support in order to keep doing this full time. Thank you. One last thing before we let you go. Check out our Instagram and hit the follow button to stay connected to the latest independent artists. If you would like to be featured, send us a DM and tell us why we should feature you. Thank you.